Hey everybody, Spoonfed here, and today we're going to be installing uh, Joomla or Joomla or whatever you want to call it. Uh, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna head over to uh, www.joomla.org, uh, and you can watch my video on like how to get um, uh, your FTP manager of the FTP setup and where to find all the data stuff like that, how to set up a MySQL database and god knows what else. Uh, we're going to download we're going to download the latest we're gonna do the full package and that's it. Save file, yes. What else is here? Uh, something else that I quickly want to discuss and probably gonna make another video about uh, after this um, is SOPA and PIPA. Well, <laughs> from where I come from, they, they sound like clowns, but uh, there are a serious menace to, or danger actually to, well, all of us actually, but m most, um, mostly the people in the US. Um, including me because I host my site there so the thing is SOPA is Stop Online Piracy Act and PIPA as Protect IP Act which IP stands for intellectual property not internet protocol or whatever the SOPA what it means is they want everybody to be monitored like all the time not not like some of the time no all the time your ISP should log everything you know which sites you uh, visit which things you download which pictures you download which pictures you look at google should do it everything every browser should do it uh, which is a horrendous um, uh, like attack on personal pro on privacy uh, which should be stopped at all costs that's why there are a lot of blackouts as it were uh, as in that's what would happen if you would put this act through and a lot of stuff will go offline um, the other thing is uh, PIPA and PIPA is Protect Intellectual Property Act. What that means is, if uh, let's say, if, for example, uh, Spoonfed is linking to a site which has copyright infringement, then I am liable too. Which is, well, stupid to be in the first place, and second, uh, how the hell should I know what that other site is doing? I link to I don't know how many sites. If if you check Linux or Spoonfed.org, I already linked to all the distro sites. Do, do I really need to be able to uh, like monitor all these sites and their content and what they're linking to? Because what they're linking to could possibly infringe me too. And it's just yeah, it's insane that they even come up with this stuff. I mean, they're attacking china on on facts like uh, a big internet firewall in australia for for, for like uh, defend or uh, blocking everything and making sure nobody there can do any everything and there's a big filter going on they're attacking that for privacy and freedom reasons but now they're doing the same a bit being in another words but they're doing the same if you really want to eradicate um, like piracy make it so the DVDs are uh, what they actually cost instead of what people want to make uh, out of, of them. If you want to stop people from getting applications that are that cost too much, make them free or make them cheap enough that you know they are worth the cost. I mean, a lot of people don't mind paying for stuff, but the fact that you can get a lot of stuff for free or ridiculous prices for uh, for a piece of software that you so happen to need is not going to get people to want and download uh, or, or, or want to buy the product that you have um, uh, plus torrents were uh, which I made video of are there to make you get you know, make you able to download big uh, files in a reasonable amount of time and with a good protocol. That's what Torrents was about, and now they are synonym with downloading illegal software or videos or files or or whatever, which is not the same. 
it's like saying because uh, office docs or PDFs are contain malicious content well all PDFs are uh, malware no it's not you know it's not that was not the intention that was made for um, so yeah I'll, I'll make, I'm gonna make a video um, like specifically dedicated to this and I will have a blackout on my site as well I think uh, only on spoonfed.org um, no, on all of them, I think. I don't know. I'll, uh, let's see what we'll do. First, let's just continue this one. Uh, this one is downloaded. Uh, from top of my head, you could just as easily 7-zip extract um, one open. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'm going to extract it to that one. Now we wait. Uh, in the meantime, uh, yeah, I got really mad when I read about soap and people because you're taking away the liberty of freedom that is the internet. Yeah, sure, a, a lot of bad stuff happens on the internet, you know, but a lot of bad stuff happens on via phone calls and text and you know emails and and whatnot happens bad stuff happens all the time everywhere you know you can't stop people from experiencing that I, I wish I could but you can't um, what, what you can do is make it as transparent as possible if you make internet as transparent as possible then everybody can see what is going on that would be far better than trying to block everything up and make it more secretive than it should be um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload all these files, all these files, all these files. My God, all these files. Yes, we're gonna upload. So you're going to your FTP. You're going to downloads. From here, I'm going to upload them all into my root file, which in this case is uh, showcase. Well, this will take a long time because it's like I don't know, 15 MB or something. So, or oh, here it says uh, 16 and a half MB. So um, that's too many megabytes for me. Uh, I'm just gonna pause the video for a small while, and then we'll continue this installation. All right, everything has been uploaded. Um, connection was stopped because um, it took a long time for me to get back here. So I need to reconnect. It's okay. Well, as you can see, everything has been uploaded. Um, now we're going to go here to our URL where it is. And it will guide us through the installation of Joomla. Well, English is fine. So just choose your language. This should be all oh, yes, but that's only if you're having your own server. So. Um, Alright, so here you should do display errors off. And that's something we we cannot do. Mm, we cannot do because the problem is we don't have control over the full server. So uh, next. This is the general license. Well, you can only have uh, MySQL and MySQL. This is MySQLite, I think. I'm going to try that.
So here you enter the full setup for the database. And if you have old database, you know, back it up or, or remove it. Back it up or remove it, sorry. Um, Let me just pause it for one second because I need to check if I took the correct settings. Not my slide error. Like so. Alright. Could not connect. Right, let me show you this. Could not connect. Hmm. Yeah, something wrong with the password, I think. Now it should work. Yes, now it's not work. Alright. Um FTP layer. Well, I cannot do the FTP layer because I don't have control over the complete server. So, just leave the FTP layer off. Oh. Uh, what are advanced options? Well, with this setup, you can choose the site name or the title, I think. Metal description and keywords all in one go. Uh, email. And admin. And admin password and sample data oh that's content well yeah you can do that but you don't need to um, I will do it with sample data so you can see what it looks like let's next everything removed and now we'll go to the site first and here we are this is what uh, Joomla looks like um, the login form I don't know if it works from here actually I think it does but I'm not sure Yeah, super user. So yeah, this is what the um, stuff looks like. And from the top of my head, it's here that you need to log in. Yeah. So. Admin. And this is what the back end looked like. So um, here you do everything. And to be able to explain what everything does and how Yumla works, I would need to make a Yumla series because it's huge. It really is. Um, I might be able to do that in the future, but for now, just keep in mind that, um, like module managers, 
uh, is how you're gonna like, the layout of your site. You can probably you can mostly do this menu managers or menu extensions for some other stuff that you need. Maybe templates. You know, users add users. This is articles, uh, categories for the articles, um, uploading files and stuff like that. And here you have the same one that you see here actually, which is user managers, menus, now you can add some new stuff, content, add new articles, add, add new categories, components, banners, uh, the contacts, messaging, um, news feeds, all sorts of stuff, and extension manager. So, um, to get to know Joomla takes a while, a bit, I think. I mean, it shouldn't, certainly probably will take longer to figure out than Drupal, or maybe not. But this is what Joomla is, this is what it looks like. And if you are, well, intrigued by it, you can uh, yeah, try it out, I would say. Um, yeah, that's it for me for now, and um, I'll see you next time.